came on the phone to get to take some details from me, mm -hmm. and when it got to the point about the the spider bite, she said, "What kind of spider is it?" My sister said, "Oh, I don't think it's a funnel web. I think it's a mouse spider." And she said, are there any other sy sy uh, symptoms that you feel? And it was just that moment that she said that, that my mouth started to tingle and go numb. And I said, well, actually, my mouth has just started to tingle and go numb. And she said, right, that's it. We're treating it as a venomous spider bite, perhaps a funnel web spider bite. Uh, but um, I will call triple O, stay on the line, pass me to whoever is there. And I passed the phone to my sister. And, um, and then it all just started to happen very, very quickly. It was like the toxins just washed through my body and um, this uncontrollable shaking began. Every muscle in my body was shaking. Um, I started to sweat profusely um, through, through every pore. I was just absolutely drenched. And with that came this tremendous fear of thinking, this is not right, this is not right. The pain was excruciating, more so on my torso than my arm. And when I looked in the mirror to see um, what was happening, a, a rash had spread very, very quickly um, across my tummy. So they were the first two things that I noticed immediately was the, the excruciating pain, a bit like a blue bottle sting, if you've ever been bitten by a blue bottle. Um, and, and then the rash. I, its body was probably uh, maybe an inch um, mm -hmm. and then with its legs, so I guess the whole thing, you know, it looked fairly sizeable. Mm. Um, well, strangely enough, I ran out into the kitchen and got uh, a glass bowl and came back and put it over the top of the spider. I suppose my first instinct was to contain it um, because my son, who's only 10, was asleep in the house, as was my sister. I was talking to my sister about that as I was on hold, actually, and we remembered that she had taken in a pile of washing from the line that evening um, and, there, and, and she had sorted it into two piles, one for my son and one for myself, and it had been on my bed for a couple of hours. So the only thing I can think, because they're not house spiders, uh, funnel webs, they you know, do live in holes in the ground outside, is, is that they like the humid, uh, warm conditions of warm washing, and perhaps the washing basket had been on the ground outside and it had crawled into that and just been folded up with washing and of course then, you know, got somehow into the sheets, I guess.